Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Jeremy, and in this video, we're going to learn how to create a landing page using Mailer Lite. We're going to start off at the Mailer Lite dashboard, dashboard.mailerlite.com. And from there on, we have three options to get to the website creation menu. Green button create, create site, or we go to sites and then click create. I'll just choose create site. First thing we have to do is give our new site a name. And then we need to choose whether we want to just create a landing page or a whole website. For this tutorial, we're going to create a landing page. Save and continue. Now using a landing page, we can collect information about the visitors of our landing page, like their email or their name. We can choose here into which group we want that collected information to be grouped. I'll choose the tutorial group. Now for the creation of our landing page, we have three options. We can choose existing landing pages that we have made before. We can choose a template. Mailer Lite offers many templates to us, or we can start from scratch. I'll start from scratch. So Mailer Lite uses a block based editor, meaning that we can drag and drop pre-made blocks from Mailer Lite to create our site. But first, let us take a look at the settings part of this page, because these settings will have an effect on our landing page in its entirety. We can choose a page layout, whether you want a full width page or a contained one. We can choose whether we want animations, we can add a header and a footer. And here we can edit the overall design settings of the page. For example, the content elements can be very useful to very quickly edit the text on our site. Let's say that I want my headings to be this font and I want them to be red. And I also want them to be cursive. Let's save that. And we can also edit the look of our buttons. I want my buttons to be red as well. And I want them to be a bit rounder than what they are now. Save. And now let's start adding some blocks. I will create a very simple email collection landing page. We'll start with an image. We press the edit button here. And with that, we go to edit a specific block. So the options we just saw related to the entirety of the landing page. But if we click on the edit button of a single block, we can adjust the settings and the look of that specific block. Let's choose an image. And I will choose a pre-made image. Save. Now that we have an image, I want to add some text. I'll type something. And as we can see, there's no real formatting to this text, but we can change that. We select the text. And then here we click format. Now we can go back to heading one and we see that the design that I just created is applied to this text. We can also change the alignment of the text to make sure that it aligns in the center. Now, finally, what we have to add is a signup form. Scroll down a bit and choose the signup form. Mailer Light gives us the option to collect an email and for people to press subscribe. But I want more than just the email. Let's edit the block. We go to form and here we add another field. I also want the name of my subscribers. Add field and it adds the name. And if you want to, you can collect more information by adding more and more fields. What you may see here is that there is a button action. That means if somebody presses the subscribe button, they will be redirected to the success page. Save here. And this is what somebody will see when they click subscribe. We can of course use the same editing principles that we use for our landing page to make our success page look a bit nicer. Let's go back to the landing page and change our signup form a little bit more because I also want to add some text and an image. Add an image. We browse our gallery and now we hit save. If you want to preview what you have created, top right corner, Preview. We can also see what our site would look like on mobile, 
very important because a lot of traffic nowadays is on mobile. Let's go back. If you're very happy with the design you just created, you can go to Actions and save it as a template. Let's save this draft. And now we can change the final settings, including the landing page URL. We can choose a fav icon or a fav icon, which is the little image that you can see on your browser's tabs. And we can adjust the SEO settings, the settings for when your web page is shared on social media. And if you have access to Google Analytics or Facebook Pixel, you can connect that here. Save and continue. And our page is live. We can now start using it to collect email addresses and names. That was it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Goodbye.